Good evening, welcome back to the channel. So uh, I've just finished work and I've come down to my local river about 10, 10 or so minutes walk away from where I live. And over the last few days, we've had some really heavy rainfall. Um, so the water levels have gone up, which is nice to see because the rivers in Scotland have really been struggling with a lot of the dry weather this year. Um, but because of the heavy rainfall recently, we've actually had like a kind of perch, which has got stuck on the other side of the river bank and we have been fortunate enough to have a beautiful little visitor. There's just something about sitting by the river which is just incredibly peaceful and just beautiful especially on an evening like this where the sun is out it's not too hot right now i mean it was really hot earlier on today i was working in the conservatory and i was melting um, but right now it's very nice very still the water is just like ice um, the only kind of things moving around is just the fish and the insects um, but hearing just all the nice sounds along the river the bird calling um, the sheep and just everything um, it's just something very very beautiful about being on the beach like this uh, being on the beach being by, beside the river like this and um, yeah you, you just can't beat it sometimes and that's why you know more people especially some of the younger generation just need to get out and they just enjoy nature you, can, you can't beat it since moving to Scotland it's been one of the best things I've ever done um, it's been so good for my mental health just to get myself out and about you know every day no matter what the weather just get out and about enjoy nature and just experience a bit more of this life rather than being stuck behind a, your phone all the time or whatever so yeah ran over but yeah beautiful day by the river can't beat it Kingfishers for me are just one of the most iconic, beautiful birds that we have in the UK. Whether it's whether you're photographing birds of prey like sparrowhawks or um, buzzards, peregrine falcons, or you're photographing other birds such as like the Atlantic puffin, gannets, anything kind of in that ballpark. So there's some fish jumping, which is quite funny. Um, Puff, uh, puffins kingfishers are just right up there you know they're such colorful um stunning birds to watch and the way they hunt their prey is absolutely fascinating and it's been about well i started photography about four or five years ago now and a kingfisher has always been like right up the top of my list every time i used to go out looking for kingfishers i never had luck um no matter how many perches were kind of in the river, you would see them like fly straight past, but you never actually see them land. Um, so I always left kind of gutted and sometimes I actually saw kingfishers like land on a perch or one time I was in the Czech Republic and there was two kingfishers mating. And I was like, oh my God, I haven't got my camera with me today. And I was absolutely gutted. But then to have this river only minutes away from my house and to come down here and just see one right over there within five minutes of me sitting down was something else and I left with a big smile on my face and not you know some of the images aren't the greatest images I've ever taken um, but I finally got one on camera and to me that means more than kind of anything to be honest it was just a great great moment in my life to be able to finally see a kingfisher not close but quite personal and to now have it on my camera and to get a little bit of footage of it and some images was amazing so I'm going to keep sitting here and hopefully it comes back I've got another perch in the water 
um, which is on this side of the bank so I'm not too sure if it's gonna land on this one but I'll keep an eye out and we'll see what happens <laughs> 